Joan can't figure out how to motivate her staff. A big deadline has passed and Joan's department failed in reaching their goal. Lauren comes into Joan's office and lectures Joan on their, her department's failure and what that means for the company. Lauren is very disappointed. Joan fails to realize that her micromanaging is the reason for her employees' lack of motivation. She is constantly punishing them for their insufficient work, but never giving them positive reinforcement or acknowledgement for their better performance. Joan and her subordinates all miss a crucial deadline, and the fault is entirely on Joan. Why are my employees not getting their work done? It's like they have no motivation or something. Is it because of me? Am I doing something wrong? I mean, I'm working night and day to make this company a success, and it's still failing. I just don't understand why this is happening. Joan, mind if we have a word? We need to discuss last week's deadline. Of course, come in. You know, I don't enjoy having to have conversations like this. When I hired you, I thought I did so with the understanding that you would be able to manage the employees I gave you. I realize that I'm not physically in the office very often, but that's why I have you. So please, Help me understand why this important deadline was missed. Lauren, first off, I am so sorry that we missed our deadline. We, you missed your deadline. Look, let me explain to you how this works. As a manager, you and you alone are responsible for both the actions and outcomes of your employees. You should be directing them and helping them finish their assignments before their deadlines. I hired you to replace a manager that had trouble separating his work life from his personal. But you know what? He never missed a deadline like this. You're right. The fault is mine. But I don't understand where it all went wrong. I worked almost all day, every day with the office trying to help them. I was literally there by their side for hours a day, managing them and helping them make decisions. Well, Joan, where it went wrong isn't for me to figure out. But I'm very disappointed that you missed such an important deadline. I'm going to have to make some phone calls to try to figure out what kind of damage is done and what this means for the company. Joan, this can never happen again. You need to stop and think about what went wrong and how you're going to fix it. Maybe you need to work on your interpersonal skills a little bit more. Did you take the appropriate amount of time to get to know your employees? Building strong relationships between yourself and your employees can really speak volumes when it comes to successful business. Just something to think about, but I'll let you get back to work. I have to make these phone calls. Thank God she didn't fire me, but how am I going to fix this? 